Hi, I'm Paul Fix the Third with Car Coach Reports, and here is the 2016 Cadillac ATS V. For those of you who don't know, V is Cadillac's performance vehicle line, and we're very lucky in that today there's a snowstorm outside. So let's see how this sports car performs in the most extreme conditions. So we're here in the whoa. <laughs> Here in the ATSV, in the middle of a snowstorm, we're getting, I don't know, maybe an inch or two per minute in Buffalo, New York. And uh, in rear wheel drive, this, uh, this car turns into a plaything, even with its incredible handling, as I witnessed at Monticello Motor Speedway. Ooh. It's difficult in the snow, but even with snow tires, I find that Although it slips, it's still able to hold on. Now the plows haven't been out yet, so we're looking at some pretty thick snow. And the traction control and the magnetic, magnetic ride control and the suspension is holding the car really straight. I'm, I'm surprised, pleasantly, of course. The 2016 Cadillac ATS-V is available in both coupe and sedan models. It has a twin turbocharged V6 that puts out 464 horsepower and 444 pound feet of torque, carrying it from 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. <laughs> Some other things that I really like about the ATS V is the fact that it's offered in a manual, something that they've done since the original CTS-V, something I really appreciate actually, because my first car was a manual and I learned how to drive on a manual. I think it's an important staple of sports cars to have that as an offering. And I couldn't ask for a better transmission, for better handling. This car is very well tuned. The ATS-V gets 16 miles per gallon in the city and 24 on the highway with an automatic transmission and 17 in the city and 23 on the highway with a manual transmission. So let's talk about the infotainment system for a second. It has similar technology to Ford Touch and Lincoln Touch from a couple years ago, and unfortunately it wasn't the best system. And, and you would think that Cadillac learned that lesson and said, well, let's, let's not do that. Instead of using the same kind of technology, everything's touch-based, the uh, volume is a slider. But it actually works kind of well in this vehicle, despite the fact that I'd rather have real buttons simply because it makes it easier, especially while you're driving so that your hand doesn't slip and you click something else. Is it comfortable? Mostly. I'd have to say that the seating position is a little odd, that it could be just a little bit better, but it does have lumbar, which is a plus for, uh, for my mom, Lauren. I wish that the shifter knob was a little higher or the armrest was a little lower. It seems as though my elbow has to rest on the center console in order for me to shift, making it just a little uncomfortable. And it does have a telescoping steering wheel, which is something I'm really happy about because I'm tall and I always like to sit in a racing position. I want the steering wheel nice and close to me so I'm able to control it. It's been very easy to control. It's stuck really well through corners with its magnetic ride control, which automatically adjusts based on how you're driving and what the conditions are. And it's very fast with its twin turbo pumping out just under 500 horsepower. Thank you for watching Car Coach Reports. And remember, before buying the ATSV or any car, check crash test ratings and competitor reviews. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video, follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and keep your eye out for more car reviews and car care tips. Thanks for watching.